Hi there, it's Kevin with Gone Rogue Games here with another Pokemon opening. Patron so deep wants literally one of everything. There are so many products that Pokemon releases. So this is what one of everything looks like. We have the uh, Tyranitar. We have the Tyra Tyranitar. So the Ty oh, they're both Tyranitar. <laughs> I can't read Tyranitar, but one is the uh, Tyranitar and the one is the Empoleon. Empoleon. I guess it's on that side. There we go. That's how we actually look at products. We have the Tyranitar. We have the Empoleon V Striker tints. We have these three packs. So there's three different types of three packs with different promos. Basically, there's ways to sell Chilling Rain boosters. But you get this one is an Eevee with a little Eevee dice here. I guess, no, they're the exact same dice on two of these. I wonder if the dice is different on various ones. But then you have the Snorlax. There's Snorlax and there's a Jolteon. So the only difference between these, I guess, is just the promo you get in front. Typically, I guess you could say these are the same product, but we'll count it as one of everything. So then you have the Sleeve Booster, which is literally just a booster pack with wasted cardboard in, I guess, so they can hang at Walmarts and Targets and whatnot. And then we have the uh, not Sleeve Boosters that have a promo. So just the package booster is one booster. This one has a more more Pico, and this one has a fan piece. So these are the different versions I got of these. I don't know if there is others that exist of these particular ones. They come with the red dice, but there's there was two different versions, at least in the, the case that I got. So then we have two different types of ETBs. We have just the... Uh, can't remember which ones these are. I opened them up yesterday, and I've already forgotten about what, what comes in these. Uh, but nothing is different with these except for uh, the sleeves that are in them. We showcased them in the um, video previous to this. And last one of these, we have the Chilling Rain uh, booster box. So let's just get started with the least expensive product here, which is the Chilling Rain booster sleeve. So typically these aren't at your local game stores. Um, the thing is that Walmarts and Targets have been pulling Pokemon due to theft and just uh, bad behavior of... Uh, you know, all the flippers and scammers and things like that that uh, try and get away with either uh, five fear discounting this or uh, just, you know, just the fights that occur when they actually release Pokemon products. So a lot of them actually pulled it and these wound up back in local game stores. Uh, so now local game stores can get them. So we'll start off with this one here with the booster pack of the Chilling Rain. So we're going to have a lot of Chilling Rains open here and we'll do the little trick and we're gonna have to go through these pretty quickly of uh, to get down to the good stuff so the first off we start off with a cobalion Col uh reverse foil and a uh runer runerigus galarian runerigus so this is going to be this is actually the reverse and this is the the hollow hollow reverse i think is what they have in there and then all of the other stuff i guess what was our rare um no one cares about the rare right you can just go right to the yeah, it's all about the foilies here. I don't know how to, to read Pokemon here. All right, let's go on to the individually packaged boosters. Look at all the waste, though. I mean, we're not going to get like a booster box with a product in all of these, um, just with all the packaging and with that. Ooh, I think I hopefully I didn't show that on stream there, on camera there. So this has a little coin, kind of cool little coin there for the orange coin. Don't know who is on that. Someone in the comments can tell me. And we have the Fanpy as the uh, hollow gets in here. All right, so let's do this again. Just go through this quickly and see what we get. So I think those are all the uncommons, uncommon, uncommon. All right, so our our uh, hollow is going to be Yamisk, Galarian Yamisk, and the reverse is going to be the Inteleon, or vice versa, exactly how they name these. So Inteleon. Pretty sweet there. Oh, look at the sparkliness on this good card. Rapid Strike one, too. Alrighty, then on to the Morpico. So this one, again, I don't know if you consider this an individual product. Jeez, I need to quit doing those QR codes. Um, but we have another one of the uh, coin flips and the Morpico. Kind of cool. And we'll get on to the pack. Be a lot of pack openings in this video. Alrighty, so. Let's get right to the good stuff. 
So again, I don't know how well this this uh, set is going to age, but so far people are, are really liking it. But again, that's every Pokemon product. We have the 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 Whirlipede and the Gardevoir as the foilies, as the hollows. So we're getting one of each pack. Is that typical for Pokemon? Probably so. All right, let's go on to the three booster packs boxes. So this one is going to be the Snorlax. So Snorlax, the big fat Snorlax, is going to be the first one. And hey, I got the... Jeez, this one does not want to come out of its casing. Yeah, it's like stuck in there. So hopefully they don't get damaged while people actually get those out. There's the Snorlax, the single strike Snorlax. Put that there. And what happened to the... <laughs> there it is. Still stuck in its encasing here. Of uh, The coin. So that one's kind of cool. That's a green coin. Are they... Yeah, they're, they are different. This is like a... What, a Tyranitar? I have no clue what that is, though. All righty. So, on to these packs. We have... First one being... The Psychic Energy. And the Scroll of Piercing. <laughs> Just reminds me of another item that looks like that. Uh, and hopefully that, that item doesn't pierce you. And then we have the, the, the Shaman. Shaman. Is that a dog? What is that? Is that an elk? Is that... I really need to learn about this Pokemon stuff. Before I misspecies something and I get cancelled. Misspecying. All right, on to the next one. We get the metal energy. I think it's metal or steel is what it is. And right on to the chest plate. The Pokemon chest plate. As well as the Serena is just the rare. So that one is the first. I think it's the first one that has an Enfoily in that slot. All right, on to the next one. Fire energy, the best type of energy. And we get to the Sneasel. Sneasel the Weasel. It's got to be a Weasel, right? And another Serena in the rare slot. Let's go on to the Eevee. The Eevee Chilling Rain. So what are we looking for in this set? I think there's a couple like $150 cards in this. I know Fat Snorlax is... Uh, going to be your the big chase pull at the moment but i think it's also there with uh um whatever these guys are the ice riders like they're they're high up there for the full art ones as well um so so far the the set is pretty good but it's mainly due to lack of supply uh the chilling rain had miserable numbers out the gates it's coming in three waves uh they're still having printer issues of getting everything out uh but Right now, the prices are very, very high for this set, but boy, does Pokemon like to crash hard a few weeks later. So look at like Battle Styles. It is really crashing at the time, and Shining Fates and, and Champion's Path as well. That's kind of a cool EV. I like the fireworks on, on that sucker. Pretty cool. And we'll get on to the first pack. So, so far, man, we've opened up a lot of duds out of these, um, what do they call these, sleeves or blisters packs. Let's get on to the... Leaf energy and onto a, a fur a fur fro as well as a wheezing Galarian wheezing. Boom. Still no V's or V Maxes or full arts or anything. These are trash. It's because I uh I mapped them all before opening these to make sure I got all the good ones. Alright, we have the energy, lucky energy. Lots of energy in this pack. And we have the Steeny, as well as the Bayonet. Looks like some kid drew that. Some little first grader drew that card. As I insult the artist. Do you even have the artist on here? They don't put the artist of who drew them? Nope, guess not. Guess they don't have any artist on the on uh, the artwork that on Pokemon. So stage one Steeny, huh? It stomps. All right, still, still no cards that are to get too excited about. So I guess this isn't the route you want to be going. All right, let's go on to 
the next stuff. Oh, I saw one. I saw one in this pack. We have an energy, the scroll of the skies. Uh, I guess we don't need to go through those. Let's just get right to good stuff. We got this sky, the sky will vet a squirrel, a squirrely thing with gnaw and scrounge. And we have the Zorora V. Zorora V with a cross fist. It gives you a cross fist. Rapid strike. Oh, that's that one does pop. That's a pretty cool card. There's our first big pull of the day. So I guess you can get some good ones out of this. It isn't a complete scam out of these three boosters. Our last one with the Jolteon. So Jolteon's giving us good luck here. And it's got a different dice in it. It's got this like dog, dog thingy. Clueless guy opens up Pokemon he knows nothing about. Okay, let's get this QR code off camera real quick so you guys don't steal it, you little thieves. And there is the Jolteon. The Jolteon. Pretty sweet. On to the first one. They come out pre-curled for you. But you can fix these. There is uh, the packets, the cigar packets. Actually do fix these foils. We actually tried it in-house here and they actually work pretty good. But what's, what it's caused is those stupid cigar packets. I bet the cigar connoisseurs are pissed right now because uh, they cost a, like triple what they were before MC Goldfish actually put out the video of how to fix your foils. They do, it does work though. We have tried it in-house here and it does work. It does take some time though to fix the curly, curliness of foils. The theory is, is there's different humidity when they're manufactured and then it begins to warp if it's a different humidity level um, when it actually gets exposed to that humidity level. So you have to get it back to the right humidity level and then it, it straightens back up. All right, so we have the ore beetle and the phalanx. All right, oh, let's not throw this dice away. Now I'm seeing the dice that's in here. So that is some some dog. Some in the comment section tell me what that is. Dog with a flower. And we'll get on to the third pack. Okay. Let's see if there's a good one in this one. We got the, what is that, a dark energy? I played this game once upon a time. We have the Stone sto, stone Yorner and the Licky Licky. licky. Licky Licky, that'd be my favorite Pokemon. Gotta go with that one. Seems like it's got some great uses. All right, let's go on to the next pack. The final pack of these three boosters. So, I don't know, these cost more per pack to buy. I think they're pretty terrible uh, product, but you know, they're not meant for uh, us buying. They're meant for like impulse buys at a checkout lane. All right, I think that's why they, I think they actually do call them check lane boosters. All right, so we have the, the pure ugly. Oh, why are they calling this cat ugly? That's rude. Uh, the tool jammer. All right, let's get on to the Minky as the one of the hollows and the Enti as the other hollow. That's some pretty sweet artwork on this, this bad boy. Heat dash and fire fang. Okay, that is all she wrote for the... Let's go on to these V-Striker tins now. This seems like a pretty cool product. Um... Tins are something you can store your cards in. You can then store your lunch in it too. And we all love a good packed sandwich. And then we have the Empoleon V for this one. And does this just come with two packs? What does it come with? Battle styles, battle styles. This isn't even a, a I thought this was, this was released with Chilling Rain, but it doesn't even have Chilling Rain in it. There's one Sword and Shield, one Darkness is Blaze. I think those are a pretty penny though. Uh, two battle styles. Man, you can't even sell these things at cost anymore. This set ended up being such a stinker. And what is Celestial Storm? How old is this one? This one doesn't make... This one doesn't ring any bells for me. When did this one come out? It came out... I don't know. How long ago was the Celestial Storm? 2018. That's crazy that there's Celestial Storm packs in this, though. Let's start off with the Celestial Storm. So I know nothing about this set. I don't wasn't selling Pokemon in 2018, I don't think. Really just... Uh, we were, we were selling Pokemon back in, like Pokemon Go days, and it really died out. And then uh, we gave up on it. And then we started back in after the Pokemon craze, and then it was, it was selling like hotcakes. Oh, what are we around? Definitely Vivid Voltage on. Got really hot with Champion's Path. Uh, anyway, we have an Energy. We have the Mass Royal. These are all kind of new to me, so I'm going to go over these kind of slow. I know they're not new to the rest of you. Spoink. That's a cool name. Electric. Surskit. Onyx, there's that old school Pokemon. And we have the Lantern. Lantern 
even the foils just look different from this this time period and the the victor beetle victor beetle all right so let's let's save the battle style so this no one wants to see darkness blaze good one this one has i believe has a charizard it's pretty expensive in this darkness blaze okay let's get that charizard i'm not seeing it because i'm pretty bad at <laughs> spoiler alerts with how the how i've been pulling the cards here all right we have a flappy and we have the lipard as the other one and we can go to the sword and shields so was this was this actually something that was supposed to release with battle styles and just laid out the gate maybe i'm just late getting them um but i believe they just barely came out with chilling rain um let's do the little tricky trick here all right i see one in the back i see one coming up i should quit uh looking ahead we have the first one being the silicobra with headbutt and tail whip I'm not sure what the, if there's anything expensive out of this set, but we have the uh, Cremorant V. That's a sweet little card. That just pops there. Look at those eyeballs. It's got the, the spit shot. Spit shot and beak catch. So there's our second V that we have pulled so far out of these packs. And I guess you get um, a V out of this V Striker tin, which is the Apollyon V. I didn't show that, I guess. And what set was this guy out of? 2021. So is this out of probably out of battle styles? I don't don't think it's out of that'd be weird if they put a chilling rain and then put those packs. I don't believe these packs are random either. I think they are uh, the same in every one of them. Well, speaking of battle styles, let's get on to the uh, battle styles and go right to it. Got the energy. Indeedy. We'll get right to it. Right to it. So this isn't a billion year long. Oh, I see another one coming up. We have the Pharaoh. And we get the, Mick, the Mickey UV. Some sort of Pokemon doll thingy. A psychic uh, Pikachu doll thingy. Jealous Eyes and Dummy Doll. With a Mim Mimiku. So this box had some decent little Vs in it. So counting the promo, there's three Vs in this box. So it's 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 doing much better than the average if we got out of all the loose boosters which again is probably just coincidence but who's keeping track all right so get right to the good stuff with the uh colossal cool little name there colossal i get it i love pokemon it's little puns and the electivere the electivere and the colossal all right, so that was Striker Tin number one. Let's get on to the Striker Tin number two, as I don't know what I did with... Oh, there's my knife. Be careful with these knives, kids. Zach cut himself yesterday. What a noob. Now I have to go get him drug tested to see if he's he's looking for a uh, OSHA scam or, or unemployment scam for cutting himself on the job. All right, so let's go on to the Tyrant Tier Tin. Um big boy there he's definitely a big boy and that looks pretty sweet with the graglanch and the single strike crush and the see if they're the same packs that are contained within I have a mess of crap going on here um in this pack so we have battle styles battle styles darkness sword and celestial storm again all right, let's save the best for last again with the Celestial Storm. Actually, I don't even know if that... Let's do in reverse order. I don't know if that is like a good pack or how much it's worth. It's just one that I don't think I even have stock here at the store um, of Celestial Storms. Could be a stinker set. Who knows? Who knows? We have the first one being Bruno. Look at that big boy there, too. Guy is thick. And the another Electivere. What a Chad. I bet this guy kicks kicks ass. He beats up all those little kids playing Pokemon. Look how small that Pokeball is in his hand. It's a big boy. All right. On it to the other battle styles. His name's Bruno, too. That's such a Chad name. I think he's my new favorite Pokemon trainer. All right. Let's go on to the back of a uh, Hone Edge. 
That's like what, an animated sword for a Pokemon? <gasps> and a Lurantis. Pretty sweet. Going to the Sword and Shield. Or up Darkness Ablaze here. I think these, these ones are approaching pretty penny with the Darkness Ablaze. And let's see the first one being the Bird Keeper. I remember these were good in this set, uh, Bird Keepers. And like everything that worked around the Bird Keeper. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just in limited. Um, I think I did play Darkness of Lays. I think that's the last Pokemon I've actually uh, played, like an actual tournament with. And the Golos Glossopod. The Glossopod. Pretty cool guy there. That's a mean looking Pokemon. Probably sucks though. So what Pokemon you got a little rat that's like the best Pokemon and everything else is terrible. All right, we have, guess we're going Celestial Storm this time. And still nothing super rare in this box. That's a weird looking one. Look at the, how, what's that symbol too? They gotten rid of that, isn't that dragon? And they get rid of this symbol. Well, we have the energy switch, and we have the Kartana. Energy switch and a Kartana. Last pack with the sword and shield, and we get on it to the good stuff. Okay, let's do our little tricky trick. And we have the Durant and a Ninetales. That's an OG Pokemon, right? Isn't Ninetales an OG Pokemon? Ninetales and a, a Kevin Durant. Cool, cool. All right, cool. So on to the next product that is released, which is the Chilling Rain Elite Trainer Box, being the uh, Snow Rider. I think that one's the Snow Rider, and the other one's the Ice Rider. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. In the comment section, I'm sure there'll be a lot of correction of... How do you not know this, Kevin? Well... I just don't know. I can't keep up with all the billion Pokemon out there. And we've already unboxed one of these yesterday. Got our little player's guide there out of it. Throw that away. Got the, the backside that comes in artwork if you pull it apart somehow. But I am too stupid to figure that out. So we'll just chuck it over there. And a neat little box. I do like the purple. It really pops on this one as I throw stuff. Got this little other player's guide, the card game rules. Took that away. No one plays Pokemon, so no one cares about the rules. You just collect. Got to catch them all. The dice, which I'm a huge fan of. And then we have the sleeves. We have the land packet. So these ones give you everything you need to, to start playing. Got some nice little dividers. And we have this packet of burn and poison tokens. Alrighty, so Chilling Rain, that's what we came here for. We are trying to, to crack that Snorlax, the fat Snorlax. Come on, fatty. We know you're in here. Get in my belly. Alright, so we are going to go through this super quick to try to open these up. We have the Kelsion and the Volcarona. Volcarona, huh? Come on. I guess it's spelled different than Corona, but... Close enough. Too soon. Too soon. Next up. See if we can get one. Geez, so deep. You are getting just kicked in the balls today with uh, pulls. Nothing there with a cast form. Opt Diamond showing a. Uh, I don't know. Do rares even hold value in Pokemon or do they have to be special specialty stuff? I know there's a huge, uh, between cards that are playable and cards that are non-playable, there's very few Pokemon cards that actually are considered tournament playable. Uh, so I think that collectability is where all the money's at in Pokemon. I could be wrong, though. Next pack. We have a Weezing. And a Coughing? Nope, a Galarian uh, Ru Runerigus. Kapow. Next pack. Oh, maybe I should do the tricky trick. All right, we got the energy. 
We have Justify Gloves. Like I said, the Michael Jackson Justify Gloves there. <laughs> Gotta be justified and touch those kitties. All right, and then we have the Tauros, the Single Strike Tauros. <laughs> Justify Gloves. Oh, boy. Next up, we have an energy. The scroll of piercing, which is definitely not what you don't want that to be doing. I've made that joke too many times now. Uh, the fog crystal. Gotta make those childhood memories go away after you've been justified with the gloves. So the one-two combo. This is the, the starter kit for Michael Jackson. Right there. Justified. And make those bad memories go away. And the Kelsion. Kessleon, Kickleon, something, something, Leon. Three packs to go. And one more ETB, and then we'll save the Chilling Rain booster box for another video. And you can see how many Vs we pull from this one and compare it to a booster box. So there probably is, what, enough packs? We have 10, 10, 20, 20 plus. Yeah, it probably is about packed with all the, um, the, the V Striker tins and whatnot. It's still probably your best bang for your buck to go the booster box route if you just want cards. Without all the fluff. We have the, the Heracross and a Weezing. Jeez, so deep, man. You are not going so deep on those Vs. I still think that 110 produced, like, the yeah, the vast majority of Vs so far. No V Maxes yet either. This is just some terabad, terrible pulls here. Hopefully, that booster box will help us recover. Uh, we do, let's have another ETB as well. Haunter and Ab uh, Ab Obama Snow. <gasps> Pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. Come on, last pack. Dude, this is the first ETV without a V in it? That is crazy. That is crazy talk. We have the Fisting Energy to go with the, the, the Fog and the Justified Gloves. <gasps> oh, I see one. I do see one. Okay. At least we got a V out of this one. We have the Leopard V and the Amphoros. It's got a Hidden Claw and Shadow Ripper. So we did get another V out of the mix. And that is our Chilling Rain. So last but not least, maybe least, we'll have to wait and see, is the other ETB. And again, well, on the second part of this video, we'll do the entire booster box of Chilling Rain and see how it compares as far as like um, overall amounts of products that you get from here. So this one has this player's guide, the the blue one, and some other artwork from the ETB. And we have the same old, same old garbage here, as well as some cool dividers for blue. And then another packet of lands or energy. And these sleeves look pretty nice. I so wish they'd use another sleeve manufacturer. These are just trashy sleeves. They fall apart pretty quickly, but I don't know. I guess if your intended audience is like 12 and below, you no, know, they're not going to be careful with sleeves anyway, so when these sleeves will get messed up. And then these dice are pretty pretty slick too. Pretty slick dice. I wish they'd go back to the D6s um, rather than the numbers because then we could use these for other games. But it is what it is. All right, here we go. So you get eight packs in the, uh, I guess it was, but the shiny phases and stuff where you get 10 packs. So you get eight packs in the ETVs. First one. I love that crack sound. We have the energy, dark energy. <laughs> Just to buy gloves. <laughs> Next to weeding gloves. The gloves. Gotta use those kid gloves. Or glo look at these weeding gloves. They got like the, I mean, those are, those are really good action there. They're, they have the little dots on there. Give it some ribbed action. The Amphoros and the Kelsion. Next up. Crushing gloves too. Jeez, this is just full of uh, uh, gloves and, and helmets and other cosplay items. Whatever your kink is. Alrighty, so we have the Swirlix and the Sauce Box. Draining kiss on the Swirlix. 
Come on. No VMAX out of all of this. Give me the positive vibes next time. Oop, saw something there. Maybe I didn't. Fire resistant gloves. Did we see something? The Obama snow? No, we did not. This one just kind of stood out, the shininess. Oh, five packs to go. A fisting energy. Cast form. And Gardevoir. Womp womp. Gardevoir and cast form. Come on, we can recover. We have four packs left. Four packs left. Fire energy. That's a good sign. Oh, I see one. I see one right there. <laughs> there goes the suspense. I guess it's the suspense to see what it is. Come on, Snorlax, Snorlax, Snorlax! Articuno V. I mean, it's a V, but still, it's not a, a V Max or a rainbow. And that's pretty crazy to go through that many packs without either. I wonder what it averages per booster box. Next up, we have. A Porygon and a Gla How many of this? We've seen a bunch of these guys, right? These ru ruin Ruinigris. Two packs left. Still, it was that, I think the Tyranitar box that was the, the best bang for our buck. We got the foil weeding gloves. There we go. That is the pull of the lifetime. And a wheezing. Last pack. Knock it. Knock it for good luck. Here we go. Here we go. Last but definitely not least. We can do it. Let's see. I'm not seeing anything. Go slow. Go fast. Go slow. <gasps> oh, rippity rip. A path to the peak. And a Gallade. Womp womp. So out of all that, like this, again, a box worth of packs. We have, these were our pulls. The Articuno. The Leop, Leopard. The Tyrantar V. Uh, the Empoleon V. The Mimikyu V. The Caramont V. And the Zorora V. So I think most of them all... One of them was from like a Celeste. Was this one from... No, 2020. That was from a different set. 2021, 21. So most of these were from the Chilling Rain stuff that was, yeah, opened. I think it was all Chilling Rain except for the one. But there's your poll so deep. Sorry, I did you dirty. Hopefully you're a booster box, which we'll save for the next video. We'll come out with some better stuff. So be looking forward to that video for the Pokemon opening. If you want to sponsor a Pokemon opening, you can always go check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash rogue deck builder. And we'll crack some packs for you. Eventually, we want to make this more of a consistent thing. So if you like what we do here, definitely give it a like and a subscribe. And check out our Patreon for more actions. This has been Kevin with the Gone Rogue Games. Be looking for part two coming up next. Thanks for watching.